You're watching News 25. Local coverage you can count on. News 25 is brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law, voted best of Las Vegas. Give them a call, 702-727-9900. Hello and welcome to this edition of News 25. I'm Yunette Gentry. Thanks for joining us here and on Ace Country Radio. We're also streaming at kpvm.tv and we're now on Roku. It is Monday, April 15th, tax day. And in our top story, a suspect is found deceased in Henderson, Nevada after a multi-day standoff involving SWAT teams. Samantha Roberts has more on this story. The suspect in a multi-day standoff was found dead Sunday morning. The standoff began Friday afternoon in Henderson near the 200 block of Callan Falls Avenue where an armed suspect had barricaded himself in a house. Saturday afternoon, Henderson Police Department posted on social media that officers were involved in a shooting at about 8.45 a.m. with the suspect. Good afternoon. My name is Sergeant Daniel Madrano with the City of Henderson Police Department Public Information Office. We are still on scene and working an armed and barricaded wanted subject in the area of the 200 block of Callan Falls Avenue, which began yesterday at about 11.20 a.m. Multiple jurisdictions have been on scene to assist with the incident throughout the night, attempting negotiations for a peaceful resolution. At about 8.45 a.m. this morning, an officer-involved shooting occurred. However, at this time, there are no injuries to officers or the suspect and negotiations are ongoing. All travel lanes and sidewalks on East Galleria Drive are closed from Water Street to Grand Cadence. As mentioned before, this is an active and dynamic scene with no further information to be provided at this time. We will ask the public to please avoid the area. We will provide updates when they become available. Thank you. On Sunday, Henderson police said the suspect was found dead. The Red Cross of Southern Nevada was also assisting 20 residents displaced from six units in the complex that sustained damage during the police response. This is an ongoing investigation and News 25 will have more on this story as it develops. And Nye County Sheriff's attempt to pull over a stolen vehicle from Las Vegas this morning that was being tracked and located at a Walgreens here in Pahrump. The occupant of that vehicle fled the scene in the stolen vehicle and then led officers on a high-speed pursuit to Basin and Leslie, where NCSO pinned the stolen car in, forcing it into a complete stop. News 25 speaks with Sheriff Joe McGill, who's giving us more details. Hi, I'm Sheriff McGill. Uh, I'm here to brief you on an incident that took place this morning, Monday, uh, April 15th at approximately 7.45 in the morning. Uh, a call was received by NCSO dispatch from Metro Police in Las Vegas in reference to a stolen vehicle that was taken from Las Vegas. That vehicle was being tracked uh, and was found to be located to the rear of the Walgreens uh, Pharmacy at Highway 372 and 160 here in Pahrump. Patrol deputies responded and attempted to block the vehicle in and prevent it from leaving the parking lot. However, the suspect fled in the vehicle westbound on Highway 372 at a high rate of speed. Our patrol de deputies pursued that vehicle and eventually came to a intersection of Basin and Leslie where the vehicle was forcibly stopped. The vehicle was a black Tesla that again was stolen from Las Vegas earlier in the morning or overnight. Uh, the suspect was taken into custody without any further incident and no injuries were reported. There was some moderate damage to one of our patrol vehicles and moderate damage to the stolen Tesla. However, both vehicles appear to be repairable. Uh, the suspect was eventually charged with possession of a stolen vehicle and felony evading a police officer and was transported to the Knight County Detention Center where he was booked. Thank you. And a man surrenders himself to SWAT team after going into someone's apartment and then breaking through their roof. 
On Friday, April 13th, a man was arrested after fleeing police on foot and entering an apartment that didn't belong to the suspect. According to officers, at around 5.30 p.m., they attempted to stop the suspect, but instead the man ran. The suspect then entered an apartment near Searles Avenue and Eastern Avenue where he did not live, according to the residents. The man refused to come out, then broke through the ceiling and got onto the roof where he refused to come down. SWAT was called to the scene where the man surrendered and was taken into custody. No further information has been released at this time. Now, an unusual story coming out of Lake Mead recently referring to vandals who were defacing property there lakeside. U.S. Park Rangers at National Lake Mead Recreational Area are seeking your help now to find two suspects who are accused in that crime. According to the Post, a viral video on Sunday, April 7th, shows two men toppling natural rock formations at the Redstone Dunes Trail. Visitors on the Redstone Dunes Trail on the evening of Sunday, April 7, 2024, or anyone with information that could help identify the suspects are encouraged to submit a tip. Information can be submitted through the NPS-Y tip line at 888-653-0009 or online at go.nps.gov slash submit a tip. Well, we're in the heart of an election year, so Vice President Kamala Harris is in town today visiting Las Vegas to promote a wealth of different topics on the ballot this year. Vice President Kamala Harris is in Las Vegas today, April 15th, to discuss the impact of the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act. President Joe Biden signed the law in 2022 that led to a new rule announced by the Justice Department requiring anyone who sells guns to run federal background checks. Kamala will also be promoting Nevada's ballot measure to enshrine abortion access in the state's constitution. In Nevada, the initiative is being led by Nevadans for Reproductive Freedoms Action Committee. If enough signatures are obtained, Nevadans will get to vote in the general election for abortion access for up to 24 weeks, which will be enshrined in the state's constitution. As early as April, the Nevadans for Reproductive Freedom have announced they have collected over 110,000 signatures. In order to be on the 2024 ballot, 25,591 signatures must come from each of Nevada's four congressional districts. All right, don't grab that remote. We'll have much more political coverage, local and national news, when News 25 returns. You're watching News 25, local coverage you can count on. Welcome back to News 25. Well, some of you sports fans may be familiar with the Icky Shuffle, but if you're not familiar, Prairie Fire recently hosted an asthma awareness fundraiser that's also known as the Icky Woods Shuffle and Shoot. Watch and find out more. Sonny Leggett from Prairie Fire, Nevada. We're excited today to have Icky Woods and the rest of his friends from uh, supporting the Javante Woods Foundation to raise awareness for asthma. Uh, really excited to have them join us today at Prairie Fire for the best day of shooting in their life. Such an important cause and we're honored to be able to partner with them in support of raising awareness. Uh, really look forward to uh, hosting this event again in the future. Hey guys, this is Icky Woods. We're out at Prairie Fire today. We're going to have a great time um, raising money for my son's foundation. As you know, uh, I am Icky Woods, former Cincinnati Bengal, uh, shuffle extraordinaire. I used to do a dance called the Icky Shuffle when I scored a touchdown. Unfortunately, I lost my son, Javante, to asthma. And so now I go around the country raising money for asthma research and asthma education. What we want to try to do is educate people on how serious and severe asthma really is. Asthma is a deadly disease. Didn't know it could kill till it took my baby from me. And then I started doing some research on asthma. Come to find out asthma is the fastest growing disease in America, but it's the least amount of money if not spent on finding the cure, finding a better way to treat it. And when we started uh, the foundation 13 years ago, 
There, there was a le uh, 15 people a day dying from asthma, and through our efforts and everything, we've kind of reduced that to 11 people a day. And we're going to keep on pecking away at it and keep on doing things to raise money, raise awareness. The most important thing is education, is educating people on how serious and severe asthma really is. I'm pretty sure everyone listening to me right now knows someone who suffers from asthma or knows someone who's dealing with asthma. So we're just trying to, you know, get the word out that it is a deadly disease and it does kill, it does take lives. And I'm firsthand account of that taking a life because it took my son from me at the ripe age of 16. He was just getting ready to live life and he's not here anymore. But through our efforts, hopefully we can save families from not going through the pain and suffering that we went through of losing a loved one to the deadly disease called asthma. So, hey guys, uh, if you want to help, go to our foundation. It's called the Javante Woods, and Javante is spelled J-O-V-A-N-T-E, JavanteWoodsFoundation.org, and help us out. Help us fight this deadly disease and help us save lives. It's your boy, Icky Woods. For those of you who stay tuned here to KPVM News 25, you get the best of both worlds because not only do we cover Nye County, well, we're covering Clark County as well. So our Las Vegas correspondent, Maria Centers, is joining us now with a story that's unique only to Las Vegas. Universally known as the marriage capital of the world, Sin City is synonymous with glitzy wedding chapels lining Las Vegas Boulevard and beyond. I had the opportunity to speak with loved up newlyweds as they exited their wedding premises. Today is our 10 year anniversary and we decided to get you know, married at Las Vegas because why not? <laughs> We're from Jersey. We're from Jersey, New York City. Uh, Travel to Las Vegas to get married. We feel amazing. We're ready to celebrate. With more than 150 nuptials each and every day, Las Vegas weddings do not require a waiting period or a blood test when ready to tie the knot. I'm in love now. I have no idea why I did this, but I've had 50 years to make this decision, and it's good for me. Have you had a good time in our city? We had a good time in the city right now. We're going to go get out of these, live in formal, and come back, and we're going to hit the strip and gamble like a knucklehead. And if somebody wants to get married here in Las Vegas, what are your top tips? Come down here, say I do, and get it over with and move on. Fast service. Life is good. <laughs> when did you know after 44 years that she was the one? After the grandkids came. <laughs> my son, my son had nothing better to do but give me grandkids. So we, we, we knew that it was like, you know what, be do it, do it, make it happen. The legal age to be married here is 18 years old, while a Clark County marriage license costs $102. It's so cute, so vintage, very like 
Vegas Classic. vintage vibes that I wanted. We're old school at heart. We're right. going to Oscars for dinner. We're going to have some clubs tonight. Uh, tomorrow we're going to pool party with Nelly. Reporting from the heart of Las Vegas, I'm Maria Centers with Southern Nevada News Network. What a beautiful bride. And if you would like information about how to get married in Las Vegas, go to ClarkCountyNV.gov. News 25 will be right back. You're watching News 25. Local coverage you can count on. News 25 is brought to you by Mountain West Lawyer, Injury Attorneys, 727-9500. Welcome back to News 25. Well, happy WNBA Draft Day. Good luck to Caitlin and all the ladies out there. And now here's Mikey Ruhand with a closer look at what's happening in sports. Time now for your News 25 look at sports and streaming at www.kpvm.tv. And now on Roku, Vegas Golden Knights had a one heck of a weekend. They beat the Minnesota Wild 7-2 on Friday and clinched a playoff berth. Then they went on to beat the Colorado Avalanche yesterday 4-3. Next up for them, they play the Blackhawks. A new ad campaign for the upcoming Stanley Cup playoffs is highlighting just how far fans can go to support their teams, including the Vegas Golden Knights. In the 30-second commercial released Monday, an enthusiastic Vegas Golden Knights fan is seen prematurely getting a Stanley Cup champion tattoo before the 2019 playoffs. He can just change the year, can he? Las Vegas Aviators turned their series around against the Salt Lake Bees on Friday. They won 4-3. Saturday, they beat them 9-5. And on Sunday, they won 7-6. They welcomed the Tacoma Rainers. On Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. UNLV Rebels football coach Barry Odom is getting a new contract. The UNLV athletic department announced that Odom's new contract will run through 2028. Mike Tyson is getting ready for his fight with Jake Paul this summer. The boxing legend posted a practice video of him in Henderson calling out Jake. The fight will be broadcast on Netflix on July 20th. Pro Valley Trojans baseball and softball are in Needles, California today. Both JV teams kicked off at 1 p.m. and both varsity started their game at 3 p.m. And that's your look at sports on News 25. And now for another favorite topic of mine, those furry pets out there. So Pat Lemming from Never Forgotten Animal Society is introducing us to a few cute kittens who are ready for adoption through their foster adopt program. Hi, this is Pat with Never Forgotten Animal Society at 3091 North David Street in Pahrump, Nevada. We are located between Belvi on Bell Vista between Blagg and Leslie. We are open Monday through Saturday from 10 until 5 every day. Our phone number is area code 775-537-8674. And in my arms, I have a sampling of some of the kittens that we have available here. These kittens are all six to seven weeks old. They are available for adoption on a foster to adopt basis, meaning that they're not old enough to get fixed yet. And until they are, they go into your home and you keep them until they, they uh, turn about 17 weeks. And then we go ahead and have them spayed, neutered, and um, we register their microchip at that time. So if you're interested, come on in. Our adoption fee is $125 per animal. And again, that includes their spay, neuter, microchip, all of their vaccinations and rabies certificates. And they're available now. We are open Monday through Saturday from 10 until 5. No appointment necessary. You're more than welcome to come on in anytime and meet our, our, all of our critters. We've got cats, dogs, um, kittens, puppies. Um, we have currently Chihuahua puppies, Border Collie puppies, Boxer puppies. Um, so you're more than welcome to come in and meet them all. It is puppy season. Uh, we do have a program where we will, if you turn in all of the, all of the litter um, that you have, either cat or dog, um, we will then go ahead and fix mom uh, for free. 
and it is just part of our um, program to try and eradicate this overpopulation that we're experiencing now. So if you're interested, come on in. We're open Monday through Saturday from 10 until 5. Adoption fee is $125 for any cat or kitten. And um, they are available on a, on a um, walk-in basis, no appointment necessary. So come on in. If you need to reach us, our number is 775-537-8674. And again, we have a bunch of kittens right now. So come on in anytime. We adopt out on a first come, first serve basis. We do not hold animals. If you're coming from Las Vegas, just give us a call and we will hold for an hour. So that gives you an opportunity to get here to visit the cats. Otherwise, just come on in. We look forward to meeting you. News 25 Weather Cam is brought to you by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorney's Office in Pahrump. In a wreck, need a check? Call 702-877-1500. Let's take a look outside through our Learner and Row weather cam at this tax day season. Beautiful blue skies, a few scattered clouds, those winds were whipping. We'll take a closer look at the forecast and what else is in store after the break. News 25 weather is brought to you by Dairy Council of Nevada undeniably delicious, undeniably dairy. Enjoy what's real. Good evening, Nevada. I'm Rory Rosell here from the Channel 25 Weather Studios and streaming everywhere at kpvm.tv and El Roku. Taking a look at Nevada right now, up in northern Nevada, Fernley is at 64 degrees, Fallon and Carson City are both at 65 degrees, Tonopah is at 59, Goldfield at 62, Beatty at 73, Amargosa and Las Vegas are both at 75 degrees, Death Valley is at 85 degrees, and here in the Paradise of Prump, it is currently 71 degrees. The high today was 72 just a little while ago. It was sunny today. The wind was blowing west at 9 miles per hour. Humidity 18% and the sun rose this morning at 6.09 a.m. and set at 7.18 p.m. The humidity does rise up to 36%. The wind will be blowing east at 6 miles per hour. The low tonight is going to be 47 degrees with clear skies. Let's take a look at the rest of the week. It looks like there's going to be a lot of 80s throughout the entire week. The entire week we are staying in the mid to high 80s. A lot of sun and partly cloudy skies. I hope everybody busts out their sunscreen and drinks enough water because this is going to be a sunny and pretty warm week. Back to the desk, here's you, Net. Thanks so much, Rory, and thanks for that forecast. It looks like an improved postcard from school. The grade report goes from 50s to upper 80s. I love it. Well, that does it for this edition of News 25. I'm Yunette Gentry, and from all of us here at KPVM and Ace Country Radio, thanks for tuning in, and be sure to enjoy this beautiful April weather. Good night.